Our next act here is just a one of a kind, wonderful man. He is so gifted and he's so all about our Lord and Savior. He just now finished filming a movie about his life. He did a book. He's just absolutely amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Victor Marks. Well, good evening. It's good to see y'all. It's packed. A lot of excitement, so fun. Well, let's see, where do I put this? How many of you are my Facebook friends? Where y'all at? Oh, yeah, one big family. Woohoo! Uh, it is great to be here. And, uh, let's see. All right. So, I'm supposed to do some what the, a, a, a couple moves. Hey, you know what? Before I go any further, let me just, I just want to say good on you guys who came tonight and you didn't want to come. Those of you who got invited here, but you're like, I don't really want to come. You know what? We welcome y'all. Let's give them a big hand. Because I know there's some of y'all here. Okay. Well, as many of you know, I, um, uh, the minister I have, I reach out to youth who are incarcerated around the United States. And I just probably got one of my most radical letters just a couple of weeks ago from a kid. A kid who, 11 years old, wrote me a handwritten letter that said, I'm reading your book. I'm going to kind of paraphrase it. Uh, he said, I'm, I'm reading your book. He said, our life is kind of alike. I have one dad, two moms. He said, I'm in for murder in jail for murder. And I said, murder? It was like M-U-R-T-E-R. -E I was like, what's murder? And he said his name and I, and uh, I, I, I looked it up on the internet and 60 Minutes had done a story on this kid who last year at 10 years old shot and killed his dad. His father was a neo-Nazi leader here in the Inland Empire. And while 60 Minutes was actually filming a story on him, the very next day, his son shot him. But he, was, he did it because his, he said his mom told him to do it at 10 years old. And once he shot him, his mom called the police on him. And now doesn't want to have anything to do with him. I mean, that's... I was blown away because I looked it up and I finished reading his letter to me. He said, you know, write me. Please write me. And he said, I expect a letter. I was like, I'll write you right now. <laughs> and then he, and I sent it to him, and then he sent me another letter back. And, and uh, you guys, I just tell you this. His name is Joseph Hall. Everybody say Joseph. Joseph. Okay. Remember to pray for Joseph this Tuesday. I get to go and visit him. Okay? I'm, I'm going to be going to visit him, but we need some prayer. The great thing in the second letter, he said, I finished reading your book, he says, and, and he gave his life to the Lord. So, so that, that's, that's what it's about. All right, so I'll do a couple of little karate. Huh? I mean, after all this entertainment, I mean, what? I'm just, I'm like, now I got to get up. I'm like, well, okay, yeah. I could talk about when I was younger, I was really good. But that don't really go far with this crowd. Um, so let me see here. What can I do first? Uh, that's how I feel. So uh, I, ain't, I ain't kidding. Let, I tell you what. Let me have a volunteer. Let me have a volunteer for tonight. Where are we at? How about you in the back? Come on, red shirt. Come on. All right. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use you. Okay. I like martial arts. I like all the martial arts, don't y'all? Yeah. I like them all. So let me put this here. So uh, let's just work off of a punch. If he just punch me with this hand, don't hit me hard. <laughs> I have my nose broke way too many times. Wow. Isn't that wow. sexy? That's how I got my wife. Woo. I'm like, hey, baby, what you think? <laughs> So with punches, you can step out of the way and arm 
You can turn them into a twist. You can move them with the joint locks. And don't worry, this didn't hurt a bit. <laughs> if somebody's pointing their finger at you, you can just lock it into what we call a small circle. The pressure, wherever that goes, the pressure will sit there. So it goes like that. <laughs> if he's punching, we can do circular movements. Woo! <laughs> Move out the way and then. I'm gonna do this technique. Y'all like that? How many of you never seen me do a gun to song? Raise your hand. How many? How many of you have seen it? Oh, that's a lot of you. Okay, well, I'll do a gun to song. Let me. Uh, here, why don't you hold that? It's not real. Don't worry. Police officers, don't worry. Why don't you hold one too? All right. All right. Come on, y'all. Come right here. All right. You you put it up. Y'all are muggers. Okay, oh, well, there you go. Have you done this before? Did you? Have I seen you in jail? Have I ministered to you before? All right, and you, why don't you put it in my back? How many know this is not a good place to be? I'm uncomfortable just being here. <laughs> this is a good time to pray for the rapture. I'm sure I'd be gone, and I don't know about y'all holding them guns on me like that. They'll probably shoot each other. Shoot each other. You, you can tell I'm from Louisiana. Anybody watch the Swamp People? That's my people. Shoot them in the head, Junior. Shoot them in the head. All right, so let me try this. All right, y'all put that up there. Let's... Marshall Hardy? We, we just practiced that outside. No, okay, let's see here. All right, now, let me do a little sword thing. Okay, here we go. Everybody likes swords, right? Okay, yeah. Everybody likes a sword, but you got to make sure you're the real sword, because look at this. This one's not real, okay? It's just a fakey. But that's what a lot of people are. They're all about looking a certain way, but not being a certain way. That's in life. I don't care. I don't care. We're not just talking Christianity. We're talking about anything. There's a bunch of posers out there, right? They're posing like they're something. Uh, we want to be the real thing. And I love swords. This is uh, this blade here. Can you hold this? This is real. This is real. This is dangerous. Because this is a cut. Uh, <laughs> okay, let me just. <laughs> so this sword right here, this this is a folded blade from Japan. It's been pounded on. It is. Uh, everybody wants to be the sword. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> but people don't necessarily want to go through the process because let me tell you what, this is where the sword starts. It's just a raw piece of iron or metal or whatever type of ore. Do you understand? It ain't pretty. And the process is the swordsmith, he takes it and he puts it in a furnace. And it turns red hot. And then he pulls it out, he puts it on an anvil, and then he beats it with his hammer. He pulls the blade. Puts it in the water, and then he does it again. That doesn't sound too fun, does it? But that's the process. 
And I don't know about y'all, but that's pretty much how life is, yeah? You get beat on, you get put in a furnace, you get dunked in water. And all I know is it pretty much happens to everybody. Nobody gets out of this world scot-free. Trauma and tragedy, misfortunes, people being burnt, it happens to everybody. My question to you is, what do you do with your life? What do you turn to? For me, listen, my father was a drug dealer and a pimp. He didn't claim me as his own kid. My mom married six times total. I went to 14 schools, 17 houses. And when I was just five years old, I was left in a commercial cooler for dead. Let me tell you, I grew up with that dysfunctional craziness and I got, it made me angry. And it made me want to pursue martial arts because I thought, oh, this is good. I get to punch somebody and kick them and choke them out. And it's in a class. I don't get arrested for it. As a matter of fact, I get promoted. I get a stripe on my belt. That's pretty fun. Well, you know what? I got to a place in my life where my heart was starting to get hard. And when that happens, it's hard to receive love and it's hard to give it. And I, I promise you, I'll stand before you today to tell you that because of the power of God Almighty coming into my life and touching me, he changed me from being hard to tough. I, I'm not soft. Because if you're soft in this world, you get ate up. Somebody say amen. amen. No, yeah, you can't. No milky toast Christian around here. We love the Lord. We live for him. But he wants warriors. He wants people to stand up against the tide of the culture. Look at people and say, no, not for me, bro. Mm -mm. I don't have to anymore. And the Lord touched me and he saved me, y'all. 1986. And you know what? He's done a great thing in my life. He's enabled me to receive love and give it. I got married. I got married. Hey, that may not be a big deal for some of y'all. But I'm the only person in three generations in my family that's ever stayed married. We're talking, I've been married 23 years now to one woman with five kids. That's glorious. Glory to God Almighty. Well, you guys, I appreciate the time to be here. You saw a couple of techniques. You saw what it meant. Uh, let me, I'll tell you what, let, let me end with that one thing. Come back up here, red shirt. Can I have two? I don't even need a chair. Just come right up here. You better, because he's one of my black belts. Let's give Mr. Jeff Crothers a big hand. <laughs> Grab that cucumber right there, buddy. All right, why don't you lay down right here in the middle of this. Uh, this, this way, I guess, because the way the lights are, I mean, miss. I'm oh, sorry. Lay that cucumber, there you go, right on your tummy. Now listen to me, y'all. Every... People say, oh, you know, no, that, it's fake. I cut my son about a month ago when we were filming. And it's on film. Isn't that amazing? 25 years I never cut anybody. And I cut my own boy. 20 years old. Hit him right on his hip bone and gashed him open. I was terrified. Not, not, why? Because of my wife. That's why I was terrified. She's a black belt. You don't mess with her kids. That's all right. All right, here we go. All right, I hope I can do this without cutting. Are you okay? Okay, I'm okay too. Let's give Jeff a big hand. Let's give Mr. Crothers a big hand. You guys, my name is Victor Marks. I appreciate the opportunity to be here. And Jesus is the only real master that we should ever follow. God bless y'all.